Welcome back for another week of What's Doing with Dylan. This is episode two. Uh, if you're looking for episode one, you can find that on Instagram. This week, we're going to be having a look at some prototype polyurethane engine mounts, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and we'll go downstairs and have a bit of a closer look. Today, we're going to be showing you a new product, uh, or a new product that's in development. Uh, so it's just in the prototyping phase at the moment. Um, they're these polyurethane engine mounts. It might look like a solid engine mount, but inside here is actually uh, a couple of polyurethane bushes that will give you some shock absorption and reduce those vibrations that you can feel. So the biggest feature of this design is that it is sort of captive in nature. Um, that the polyurethane is completely contained within the aluminium housing. Um, it's a billet 661 T6 aluminium housing um, and top cap. And within it is two polyurethane bushings. With this captive design that I was talking about, um, the biggest feature is that in the case of any type of failure, um, the upper housing is still completely contained within the unit itself. Uh, so you can't have any complete failure. You can have a, a possible small failure, but nothing complete. So to demonstrate that, if we take out this top polyurethane bushing. Let's just say it miraculously evaporates into thin air and put it back together. This upper body is still completely contained within the unit and cannot come out. So you can never have the engine completely separate from the chassis. So the product itself will come to you as a completely assembled unit. Um, it starts off with the main housing. Uh, you have a lower polyurethane bush, which slots in there like so. Uh, you have the upper body, which is sandwiched between two polyurethane bushings, uh, and then the top cap over the top to hold it all together. Uh, and if you look closely, you'll see that there is actually some preload on the bushings as well. You always want to ensure that the polyurethane bushings have a good amount of preload, otherwise you'll basically end up with play um, in your engine mounts and you've got a, a, an area there of a few millimetres where the polyurethane is not doing its job and not taking away those vibrations and absorbing those, those shocks. This is the first prototype. Um, Sort of, we've kept it reasonably simple as it is just to get it through to this point uh, and so we can get some testing in. Uh, but especially visually, we'll still look to add some nicer features. So due to some of the difficulties with getting accurate tolerances with manufacturing of polyurethane, um, we probably will still update the housings to, to suit the final polyurethane that we've received and, and to reduce some of the movement, but still allow a good amount of pre-compression on the, on the polyurethane bush. But once the polyurethane bush is compressed, it does take out some of that play, um, but we will still look to, to reduce that further to eliminate any possibility of, of play in the engine mount once fully assembled and torqued down to spec. We've also, been testing and will test a few more um, different hardnesses of the polyurethane. Here in my hands I've got quite a, a hard polyurethane that's very similar to like a caster wheel or, or a wheel of a trolley um, and this is around a 90 hardness uh, on the shore A scale compared to something that's closer to the heel of a formal shoe. This is around 75 to 80 or a hardness and as you can see there's there's quite a bit more give in that and then we will also be testing around 60 and 72 uh, we're a little bit concerned that 60 might be a bit too soft but uh, we're, we're testing the whole range to see what's going to suit you guys best another benefit of the captive design 
once it's torqued down and the polyurethane is put under sufficient pretension, um, the load is distributed both around on the top, bottom sides, uh, and you get a much more even wear of the bush. And because of that even loading, it reduces bushing deflection, uh, which causes uneven wear on the bushing uh, and, and some deformation of the bushing as well. So being a prototype, uh, these need to be tested. We do majority of our testing on our own personal cars. Um, these ones will be going into Zach's daily driven V35. He currently has some solid mounts that are too stiff for daily driving uh, and his weak back and knees. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the poly ones. All right, so we've gone ahead and installed the poly engine mounts into the V35. Um, already noticed a substantial difference just from the startup, so can't wait to take it for a, a test drive and see the real difference. Um, the install went really well. No major changes are required to the prototypes in terms of sizing. Um, the increased body size had perfect fitment, stud lengths were fine, that sort of stuff. So they're uh, ready for just some final little tweaks to appearance and, and a few other little things. And, we're ready to go to production. Zach has been testing the engine mounts for the last couple of weeks. He will continue to do so for the next couple of months as well. Uh, the initial results have been really good so far uh, and we'll look at the, the long-term results for the longevity of the, the polyurethane that we've got in there. Uh, that sort of wraps up the engine mounts and we'll see you next week for what's done with Dylan.